Father Darwin, our special guest for this national convention. Father Irineo Ruiz, the spiritual director of Barangay San Birhen. My brothers in the priesthood. Brad Woodrow, the Honorable Woodrow Makiling, provincial board member and the head of the Barangay San Birhen in the Diocese of Dumaguete. And for many years, the prime organizer the, and for many years has been the head of the Barangay San Birhen in the diocese and the prime organizer of the 74th anniversary celebration, the national officials of Barangay San Birhen, delegates from different parts of the country, guests, brothers and sisters in Christ, Mayung Hapon Kanatong Tanan, happy 74th anniversary, Barangay San Birhen. So first of all, I welcome you, Father Darwin, and brother priests coming from other dioceses, and the delegates from other dioceses. Uh, I wish to welcome you too to the Diocese of Dumaguete. We are at a time when the world is badly in need of peace. We pray that the war between Israel and Palestine does not escalate into a world war. The war between Russia and Ukraine has gone on for more than a year now with no end in sight. That's why the Holy Father, Pope Francis, yesterday, kung kahinom domo kagahapon, ang atong Santo Papa may declarar o World Day of Prayer for Peace. A world day of prayer, fasting, and penance for global peace. Kunya kagabi e sa Iroplano coming from Cebu. I spoke with a U.S. war veterans veteran, a U.S. war veteran living in Bakong. Matud pa aning veterano nga taga America. Nahad looks ya. He is very much worried about what's happening in the Spratlys Islands in the south. And we know why. Right here in Negros Oriental, sa atong kaugalingon nga probinsya, we were badly shaken by the merciless massacre of our own former governor, Digamo, and nine others. Sama sa samad, nga nag-umido pa, kay wala pa hingpit nga maayo, we will not experience peace until these hyenas cases are resolved. As I said, we badly need peace in the world, in our own localities, and even in our own families. The kinanglad tagalinaw sa atong familia, no? Ilabina familia nga nakabahin bahin. We badly need peace in our own homes. In 2005, siguro na dogog na ninyo ni, nga in 2005, just before she died, Sister Lucia, one of the three visionaries of Fatima, predicted that the final battle between Christ and Satan would be over marriage and family. So, kabahin ni sa inyong kaminyoon, inyong familia, inyong panimalay. The final battle between Christ and Satan would be over marriage and family. Unya hinahinay na nato na nga nabati karon. And that is why you have to pay attention to your children, pay attention to the peace in your families. Pay attention to resolving division in your own homes. And key to this, ang yawi gud ni ini mao ang pag-ampo. Siguro, nadungog na ni ninyo, gika ni Father Darwin Kagadina. 
The family that prays together stays together. Can we repeat that? That prays stays together. Gikanan ni Father Patrick Payton. For this reason, I affirm Barangay Sang Birhen's objective of drawing people back to God to center lives on Jesus through personal conversion, through proper teaching of our Catholic doctrine, and to seek help, to seek the help of Mary, especially by praying the rosary. Pope St. John Paul II considered a Marian Pope. Echoing Our Lady's messages at Fatima explained that the rosary is by its nature a prayer for peace. Gikani sa iyang dokumento niya 2002, Rosarium Virginis Marie number 40 on the rosary of the Virgin Mary. The rosary is by its nature a prayer for peace. And the peace for which we pray in the rosary is not a peace which can be given by the world. Rather, it is the peace obtained for us by the blood of the cross, the blood on the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. If we want to be victorious over sin and over evil in our lives and in our midst, let us remember that Mary is called Our Lady of Victories. In fact, Our Lady of the Rosary was first given the title of Our Lady of Victory by Pope St. Pius V. And this was to honor the victory of peace which was won through Mary's intercession and especially through the praying of the Holy Rosary at the Battle of Lepanto. You remember the Battle of Lepanto, October 7, 1571, the feast. That's why October 7 is the Feast of the Holy Rosary. By changing the title of Our Lady of Victory to Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Pope Gregory XIII emphasized the powerful instrument for attaining the victory of peace, namely the praying of the Holy Rosary. So the praying of the Holy Rosary is a powerful instrument to attain the victory of peace. Considering that among Barangay Sang Birhen's objectives is to develop love of country, so very timely that we need to pray for a very important event this coming Monday. I recommend to you that we pray to our Blessed Mother, that we pray the Rosary for a peaceful, clean, and honest barangay and SK elections. Let us pray for the victory of good candidates. Atong iampo ng tagaan taog maayo ng mga kandidato. Let us pray that we are given good public servants because we need good people in government. Let us pray for the victory of barangay and SK candidates who are God-fearing. God-fearing. Sama sa founder ni ining barangay sa Birhen. He was the mayor of Silay. And then, as a mayor, he got sick. And then he realized that uh, his mga tao at that time materialistic kaayo. And it was one of those discoveries or realizations that made him, prodded him to start, or at least the beginnings of what would become Barangay Sang Birhen. So we need. Barangay and SK candidates who are God-fearing, persons of integrity, and are not susceptible to corruption. Dilita magtagad nga tagaag na kong interes sa STL.
We need candidates who are determined to serve the common good and not just their family's interest. We need candidates who will care for the environment. Nga dili man mas tamas sa atong kinaiyahan kay guba na kaayo ang atong kinaiyahan. We need candidates who will seriously promote justice and peace so that our people can look forward to a future full of hope. The victory of peace is ultimately the victory over Satan. Siguro nadugog na ninyo gika ni Father Darwin kaganina. The victory of peace is the victory over Satan. Since the sin of our first parents, Satan never ceases to tempt us to commit sin. By praying the rosary daily, we draw near to Mary, the mother of our Savior. And Mary teaches us what to do. Mary teaches us as she taught the wine stewards at the wedding feast of Cana, we heard in the gospel today. What did she say? Do whatever He tells you. Buhata kung unsay iyang isulti kaninyo. Buhata kung unsay isulti kaninyo sa akong anak na si Jesus. Mokka na iyang pagtulunan ka nato. Do whatever He teaches, He tells you. Mary, whom our Savior gave to us as our mother, helps us to stand faithfully with her beneath the cross of our Lord Jesus. Mary is one in heart with her son. With Mary, we share in the triumph of the cross. Why? Because Mary shared in the suffering of her son as only a mother can. That's how powerful her intercession is for us. The victory of peace sought through the Immaculate Heart of Mary by praying the Holy Rosary and attained in the Sacred Heart of Jesus overcomes the confusion the error and division, all the works of the evil one, which so fiercely attack today the world and the church. For that reason, let us be faithful in praying the Holy Rosary, seeking the intercession of the Mother of God for the victory of peace, peace in our souls, peace in the world, peace in the church. As Pope St. John Paul II again said, let us pray the rosary, if possible, every day, either by ourselves or in community. The rosary is a simple prayer, but profound and very effective, even to ask favors for families, communities, and the world. Unya, let me end with the words of Pope Francis. The Holy Rosary is not just a repetition of prayers. By praying the Holy Rosary, every time we pray the Rosary, we are a step closer to salvation. No? A powerful statement. Matag ampo nato sa rosario nagkaduol ta ang atong mga lakag nagkaduol sa atong kaluwasan. Usa, dagup kita sa atong mahal nga inahan that O Mary conceived without sin O Mary conceived without sin O Mary conceived without sin Saints Simon and Jude